Hello friends, this video on sound part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the range of hearing. We saw that uh, we are able to hear with the help of our ear. Now the question is, are we able to hear all types of sounds? Because wherever there is a vibration, there is a sound that is being produced. But is it that we are able to hear all types of sounds or we are only able to hear a particular set of sounds? So that is what we are going to talk in range of hearing. So it is the range of frequency of sound which is audible to a living being. Now this is again interesting. Now it is not that all living organisms can perceive or they can listen to sounds of all frequencies. The different living organisms have ability to perceive different frequencies of sound. Now for a better understanding let us take the example of human beings. Now, in case of human beings, again, we also have certain set of frequencies of sound which are audible to us. We can hear only those frequencies of sound. So based on that, sound has been categorized into two sections. One is the audible sound, the other is the inaudible sound. So if you look at it, this represents the various frequencies of sound. Now for human beings, the audible range starts from 20 hertz. So sounds of frequencies 20 hertz are audible to us and we can hear sounds up to 20 kilohertz that is 20,000 hertz. So this is our audible range. So all the frequencies which fall below the, this frequency range they form audible sound because we can hear them. Now anything, any sound with frequency lesser than 20 hertz are called infrasound and a sound of frequency greater than 20,000 hertz is ultrasound. So infrasound and ultrasound are inaudible to human beings. Now please do remember that this I am talking only about human beings. Now as I mentioned that different living organisms have different range of hearing. So it is not that for every living organism this is an audible frequency. Now, if you compare the, the range of hearing for a dog or a cat or a human being, they are all going to be different. So let us look at the range of frequencies for some of the different organisms. So here we have considered some organisms like uh, humans, dogs, dolphins, fish, sea lions, bats, frogs, birds and rodents. So you, so you see on the x-axis I have taken the frequencies and these are in, these frequencies are in hertz. So you see for human beings just now I told you it is from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So where is 20 hertz? It is here. 20,000 would be somewhere here. So you see for human beings it starts from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So for dogs you see the frequent, uh, range of hearing is even greater than human beings. So dogs can hear frequencies which, are, which fall in our inaudible range. Dolphins and dogs, they almost have same range of hearing. Fishes, again, they have different range of hearing. So you see, for different organisms, they have different range of hearing. So whatever sounds we are able to hear, we feel that, okay, only those sounds exist. But there are a lot of other sounds which exist, which fall in our inaudible range. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.